Joey Riz here, coming with you another video, and I thought today would be kind of fun uh, to see what chargers actually work with our brand new Nexus phones. Now we've all gotten really uh, used to, at least if you're in the tech world, you've really gotten used to using these new quick chargers from Qualcomm. All the new smartphones, well pretty much all the new smartphones use these new Qualcomm chips. And most, most uh, people have turned on this functionality in their phones. Um, I have a few phones over there. Some of them have it, some of them don't. Uh, but we're only going to worry about these today because obviously many people have accumulated, at least I have, a ton of chargers that are capable of quick charging because I, everyone wanted to go want to make sure that they're able to charge quickly because even though battery battery sizes might vary if you can charge your phone quick before running out the door or in your car with, while you're driving somewhere it's huge all right so let's look at this obviously we have our 5x and our 6p and in front of me i have a very very variety of uh chargers here this is htc's uh branded quick charger uh this is actually the one that the charger that comes with uh, the new 5X. This is not a quick charger. This is what they're calling rapid charger or fast charger. Um, it has a 3 amp output at 5 volts, which is very high, which is what they're using uh, to quick charge their devices. This one has just a USB-C because they're chargers for some reason. This is the uh, the charger from the charger from the uh, the new 6P. Both of them come with USB-C only, which is kind of strange, but I guess they really want to push this one. Uh, and this one right here, just for comparison, is the, uh, the LG. Uh, just one of the LG chargers that came with the, uh, uh, I think this one came with the G4, G4 I think, or maybe it's my G3, it could have, it's been a while. Uh, but, you know, I figured we'd go here today and see actually what charges these devices. And right here I have my little trusty tool here. Um, this is a USB uh, voltmeter and amp meter. I've used this to kind of go through some testing about which chargers actually charge these things regularly or even rapidly. All right, so let me get into this here. I have my, just a little charging brick. This is a quick charging brick that I have where you can try this one out just to get a baseline. Right. Try it out on the, obviously this one here has 2.5 amp and a 1 amp output, but we'll charge them to 2.5 for now. You see here, putting out close to 5 volts, 0 amps, because we have no load on it currently. But let's try it on the 6P first. Alright, so here we have, just because I have one, this is a USB-C to USB-A uh, uh, cable, both male. Just so you can see exactly what we got going on here. I plug it in, you'll see voltage drops a little bit, but amperage shoots up. Now we're charging at what this is saying. It keeps on jumping around a little bit, but it's around one and a half amps, give or take. Now you see on this phone, you'll notice we have a charging rapidly. And uh, that's, that's cool because this is not uh, the rapid charger, obviously, that comes with the device. But it's still charging this thing rapidly, at least it's saying that is charging it rapidly. I have, we just know what's here. We don't know what the actual phone is actually taking. But, you see, I'm going to put it into the same, the same exact charger, same exact situation. I'm going to put it into the 5X. And this one just says charging. And I actually don't know why this would be like this. Uh, between the two phones, obviously two different manufacturers, but uh, for my testing, I can't go through everything here probably today, but for my testing, uh, the 5X um, only, it, it will show rapid charging over 1.5 1. 1 amps. If there's 1.5 amps going into the phone, it shows rapid charging. But on the 6P, anything over 1 amp, it's showing rapid charging. I don't know why it would be different between the two phones. They're supposed to be both supposed to be Nexus. They're both supposed to be rather similar even if on the outside they're a little different but this is what we have I don't I don't know what to tell you about that but what I have done some testing on is these various chargers um, 
let's see here. Obviously, I'm not able to test the baselines on the on the stock charges just because I don't have a little voltmeter that I'll plug into this port. Sorry about that, guys, but that's just the technology we got today. Um, but what I do have here is the HEC Quick Charger. Uh, this one outputs, I believe, maximum. Uh, it says at 5 volts, 1.67 amps, which is not very much when you're trying to charge these new phones. And as such, this one would not charge either of these phones rapidly. And any of the conditions at different, at different battery levels didn't charge it rapidly. But, funny enough, this old LG charger that's not quick charge, not rapid charge or anything, this one right here outputted some of the highest amps that I ever saw go to either of these phones. It, it outputted almost two amps to both phones, which is crazy because this one's not meant to be any kind of rapid charge. But we all know that LG chargers have been very good. And uh, this, these have always charged any of my phones fast and just shows here, does the same thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, I also have two car chargers here. Now I thought this would be cool to see. These are both from Aukey and we see here these are Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 capable. This one right here has just a regular 2.4 output and then a quick charge output and this one actually has two quick charge outputs. I thought that was pretty great when it came out but what's funny is these are not created equal. Uh, what I have here, what I found out it is this one here would not charge rapidly on either phone but this one did. It outputted enough amperage that on both phones it looked just fine. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about that just because I guess just different internals uh, it just had, they, there's just slight differences inside them that's what's happening. The big thing here though is is the confusion. We have all these chargers and now we don't know what's going to charge rapidly what doesn't. I just wanted to come here today like I said and give you some kind of idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, either phone uh, we'll charge rapidly on chargers that are not these stock chargers, but it's really up in the air right now. Uh, basically, what you're going to have to do is uh, go through all yours and see if they will. Uh, you know, just, just uh, I, I don't know if you have anything like this. Probably not. I just got this special just, just for this video. Uh, but it's a very confusing time. Obviously, USB Type-C is going to be the future. And this quick charge technology, I, the reason why they did it this way is because they didn't want to use Qualcomm's technology in this. They wanted it to be a more universal thing across all devices without having to use quick charge, without having to use Qualcomm internals, even though both of these phones did. Um, for now, it's all, it's all a toss-up. I even had one of these, which is just a, if you see it here, uh, just micro USB. To USB Type C, and uh, the things with this, just uh, just so you know, I bought this off of Amazon. It's a couple dollars. I bought a pack of two. Thing is that these cheap ones are not going to charge your device properly. Because if you see here, I'll do a little quick test. Um, this this uh, this little one, it won't put out any. It it, it changes the actual voltage. It uh, these little things, it, it's it's not meant. To do such high charging rates, the the wiring wiring side, whatever it is, it's not going to do the same amount. So we see here, if we go into the five X. See what we got. See it's showing just one amp, and it's, and it's not charging rapidly. But let's see. If, let's see in the six P. See, this one is actually pulling high amps, but for some reason, it's not charging rapidly. I think it has something to do with the, the wiring or whatever's inside here just not, just not having enough juice. Uh, just not, not being in high enough quality to, uh, to charge this thing rapidly. But here's another test for you. What I have here uh, is the actual little data cable that comes, from the, uh, that comes in the package with the 6P. This one does have USB-A. USB-C. Just so you know, this cable does not come with your 5X. Uh, you will have to buy another cable if you're buying a 5X to do any kind of data transfer, or if you want to charge from any of your other charges, you're going to have to buy another cable. 
but this is a short guy just for data, and I figured I'd give this one a try too. Uh, obviously, coming from the same source, you'll see on the 6P, this one was charging rapidly if you saw before. You plug it in with this cable, it's just charging. It's the, the voltage is jumping around, but it's just regular charging. But I have another cable. Give this thing a shot. I don't know where it went. On the floor, of course. <laughs> now this cable I bought from Amazon also. This is, you see how thick this is compared to this? This is a really heavy duty cable. This one is actually rated at the full three amps that any of these chargers do use for, uh, that's, that's the standard they're using for, uh, for rapid charging now. If I plug this into the 6P. Now it says charge rapidly. Didn't change anything, just changed the actual cable itself. So that just goes to show you that all the variables we have with this. It's just, you gotta remember, it's what the phone is seeing. What the phone is seeing, it's, it's, it's gonna indicate whether it's able to charge rapidly or not. From here, it's only gonna, it might get more confusing before it gets any better, but hopefully I gave you some kind of idea what, what you're gonna have to do with this. Like, obviously if you're looking and buying either of these phones, you're gonna have to buy new chargers. You're gonna have to buy new cables, and that's a pain. But for right now, if you want the newest technology, if you want to jump in, like like I said, the OnePlus One Plus Two has it. There's a couple other tablets that have it. But at the end of the day, these chargers and these this this is the future. Obviously, a little bit of a pain point right now because all the chargers and no one's gonna have this charger if you're out somewhere. You're pretty much out of luck unless you bring one of these little things with you, which is what I've been doing, because tell me, I never want to be without a charger, and that's kind of how it goes. But hopefully I gave you some kind of idea with these two new awesome phones, what we're going to be looking at here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.